Let's see how, what size this little runt's at. A little bit better one. Tight hanging out underneath the boat. Yeah, there oh you yeah, go. nicer a better one. one now. Come yeah, here, buddy. Bring them my way here. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, one whoa. more little dip here. Come here, come here. Here, here you can just, I, I got a long you can just take them off go, back man. there. Look at that. <laughs> that's a little nicer fish. Yeah, you, you know. So that's a leech lick special. Yeah. That's a nicer one. You now it's really interesting. Uh, it, it's a flat, calm day here, and that, that's going to make the bite a little bit tough, tougher. We're scrounging a little bit here, a little bit there, but uh, uh, there's two times of the year where you got a lot of fish and a lot of big fish that are up shallow. And, but that's spring of the year, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post and then after that they spread out and do different things. Then again, come in fall, after the lakes turn over, and that water gets into the low to mid 50s, the fish that have been suspended, the fish that have been lead core fish across the basin of the lakes, these fish all join the weed fish and the structure fish, not all, but a big percentage of them come back into the shorelines. And this happens in a, a lot, a lot of walleye lakes. So you got a fall movement that these walleyes, and the night bite, by the way, now, the night bite can be tremendous on a lot of these lakes. But those two time frames, the spring that everybody knows about, but a lot of people don't take advantage of this fall, this fall bite for numbers and quality of, of fish. They're hunting. At least more fish for me and James. I'm throwing about as classic of a leech lake bait you could possibly throw. This is a VMC hardball jig, 1 8 ounce with a, a rainbow minnow on, on there. But realistically, when you're talking jigs, particularly for the shallow water bite, hair jigs are really good depending on the uh, time of the year. So can be soft plastics. But the big thing is, is what the fish are willing to bite. Right now we're fishing in relatively cold water and they're, they're gonna, they'll bite on a little bit of everything, but hair and um, a jig and a minnow seems like it's the best right now. But throughout the summer months, a lot of times the soft plastics is all you, all you need. A lot of times we f fish with like these suicide shads in a moon-eyed jig and fishing it really hard and fast. Right now with that water temperature being cooler, they're a little bit more inactive where you need that little bit slower, more subtle drop speed. We're using relatively lightweight baits. But when you look at the lake, what's so cool about leech, it's so diverse and so large. You have big, expansive uh, of cabbage beds spread over these flats. In some areas, you have this weed called kara or sand grass. And a lot of times, perch really like that, and in turn, walleyes like that. And then you look at the gravel and boulder flats that are around this lake. You can jig all over the entire body of water. For today's jigging mission, Al and I are both using the same stick, just different models. It's a six foot, eight inch, medium power, extra fast action. The extra fast tip is ideal for snap jigging like Al is doing with artificials, but the extra fast action also provides the right amount of flex in the tip when the waldos aren't launching the jig, they're just hanging on the minnow. You can put a bit of pressure on the fish without risking them dropping the bait. St. Croix has his power and action in their three walleye lines, Icon, Avid Series Walleye, and Legend Tournament Walleye, because this is the ultimate jigging rod. Oh, there you go, look at that guy there. Beautiful fish, look at that. Wow. Leech Lake Special. Come here, buddy. 